What's going on everybody? Welcome to a top five affordable sneakers to have in your collection video. All sneakers will be under $100 each. Links in the description box below. Let's get right into it. Alright, first sneaker up, we got the Nike Blazer Lows coming in at only 75 bucks. So when it comes to the Nike Blazer Lows, there's not a lot of hype surrounding these despite Supreme doing a collaboration on them. Pretty much, they sit on shelves. But as far as availability, that's better for you guys. They're offered in a ton of clean colorways and my favorite part about them has to be that clean, simple silhouette. You got a nice shape right here, not too bulky, not too high off the ground. Pairs really nicely with a pair of slim denim shorts, very versatile for the summer. I wouldn't put these in the heater category as like your Friday shoe. These are more of like your everyday rotation type of sneakers. So I gotta say the Nike Blazer Lows worth considering for your collection. All right, so next sneaker row, we got the Van Skate Highs for only $65. So when it comes to the Van Skate Highs, there's a bunch of cool colorways out there, but we chose this one in particular because we are gonna be doing a super simple customization to make these look like the Fog Van Skate Highs that came out that resale for over a few hundred dollars. So this colorway right here is actually on sale at PacSun for only 49 bucks. And what I ended up doing is going on the Nike website I bought these cream laces to match the cream tonal colorway right here on the toe box so I'm gonna just replace this white lace right here first customization on the channel actually we did the off whites which was kind of like a slight customization and you want to get the 54 inch length when it comes to the laces all right so we got the cream laces in next up I bought this paint right here for only a couple bucks from an arts and crafts store so we are gonna paint this Vans logo right here on the side to mimic the fog ones you know I wasn't always the best color ran in between the lines of school doesn't look like I got any better. Shout out to all the YouTubers out there doing customizations. You got Sneakerhead in the Bay. All right, so there you guys have it. We got the white Vans logo right here on the side. You got the cream laces. You know, I did a little comparison and the only difference between these and the Fog version is the whole midsole is kind of like a creamish off-white colorway on the uh, Fog version. You could even take it to that level if you want, but I'll say for 50 bucks, these are on sale right now. You, you know, spend a couple extra dollars. You get pretty much to look down. I mean, shh. These are little, these are kinda hot. And just to go over skate highs in general, you gotta put these in the same category as your errors, your old schools, and then you have the skate highs. I think a lot of people would agree that the Vans skate highs are a top three sneaker ever released by Vans. And when you're gonna be rocking these, don't really worry about keeping them super clean or icy. There's a couple other sneakers in this list for that purpose, but these right here, at the end of the day, these are skate shoes. So you wanna kinda give off that rugged look like you almost did a kickflip, but you really didn't, it's more for fashion. Links will be in the description box below for the paint as well as the laces. Let's keep it moving. Next sneaker rope, we got the white on white Air Force Ones, aka the Billy Blancos. So when it comes to the Nike Air Force Ones, these have stood the test of time decade after decade. I mean, these have a special place in my heart. Unlike a lot of the other sneakers on this list, these are the one sneaker that you want to keep crispy, all right? These are more of like your Friday, Saturday sneaker. You know, when you see a crushed Sandra over there, you know, you try to press Sandra, you got to hit her with the white on white. It's not the grunge skate highs you gotta hit her with the crispies all right retail is about $90 right now which is a little bit higher than they used to be 75 bucks the quality is still pretty decent from Nike and this is how you know the Nike Air Force Ones are a classic during their campaign with complex they let a lot of celebrities design their own Air Force Ones but they made sure that the base of their design had to be the white on white Air Force Ones they didn't want a lot of switch ups they still wanted the integrity of the white on whites and I think that says a lot obviously I'm sure the celebs wanted full creative control but you know for Nike to say, hey, we have white on whites, don't switch them up that much. That just goes to show you how classic these are. Besides that, a lot of people really like the Air Force Ones aesthetically when you rock them with more of like your baggier jeans, nothing like super tight, because at the end of the day, they are a pretty bulky sneaker. So you kind of want to match the foundation and keep everything cohesive. All right, so there we have it. The white on whites, 90 bucks. They're pretty much available everywhere. Let's keep it moving. Next sneaker up, we got the Vans Old Schools coming in at only 55 bucks. So when it comes to the Vans Old Schools, I made sure to choose this colorway specifically and that's because although Vans comes out with a ton of different colorways in the old schools throughout the years the black on white is what started it all for example you got an NBA player like Jordan Clarkson obviously with millions of dollars he can get any colorway he wants but he chose the black and white colorway because he understands the tradition and the value of a classic all right so wrapping up the old schools I kind of put these in the same lane as the Blazers a great sneaker to have in your rotation throughout the week a lot of people like rocking them right now with some you know like the socks tucked in with the sweatpants and whatnot that's kind of a 
look right now. So there you guys have it for only 55 bucks. The Vans Old School's not a bad play. All right, so last but not least, we got the Jordan ones right here. We got the shadows, we got the metallics. Let's get into them. So starting things off with the metallics, a lot of people don't know that these are actually in an original colorway. And to sneakerheads, obviously an original colorway is super valued, but the good thing about these is the price does not reflect that. For an OG colorway, you can find these for pretty affordable prices, around 100 bucks right now. ASAP Rocky rocks them pretty often with the light distressed denim. And what I really like about them is usually with the OG colorways, it kind of mess them up with the mid cut, but these actually have that nice high cut, similar to like, you know, the newer breads, fragments, a nice high cut that really gives it that OG silhouette. So don't sleep on these, man. I feel like later down the road, years from now, these are definitely gonna go up in price. So I would say if you can, get them right now for around 100 bucks. All right, so moving right along to the shadow ones right here. You know, when I first saw these, I was like, who's gonna rock a pair of one lows? That's like rocking a pair of Spizikes or something, you know what I mean? But I'm not gonna lie, they look super clean when I saw this photo of D'Angelo Russell rocking them with some socks tucked in with the sweatpants, kind of like rocked them in a casual way. And I was like, I gotta cop those. So for 70 bucks, I got the shadow ones right here. And I gotta say, these have gotta be one of my favorite sneakers that I've copped recently. I don't know, they're just, you know, they're just different. You know, it's 2018, I'm trying to do some different things. I really like the shadows over the Royals and even the breads because of just how versatile the gray is. And they're actually cheaper than the breads and the Royals. I know they're a pretty unique sneaker to have, but I'm saying, if you rock them in the right way, don't sleep on the one lows. So like I just said, you can get these for around 70 bucks right now. They're at a ton of different outlets. I even saw the Royals at an outlet before, so just keep your eyes peeled for these. We'll leave links in the description box below. And that's pretty much it for last on the list, the Jordan 1 specific colorways you can now find for under 100 bucks. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the top five affordable sneakers to have in your collection video. These are great sneakers to have if you guys are just starting off. Trust me, no one's gonna clown on you for these, even if they are cheap. These are great, smart purchases. I wouldn't steer you guys in the wrong direction. And they're great sneakers to have if you've been in the game and you just need some good value sneakers to add to your collection. Something for everybody, but that's pretty much it. Links in the description box below for you guys. And when it comes to the van skate highs, if anybody wants these, make sure you guys follow the social medias. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for these because they're actually not my size. We might even give away this. We'll give them away all, all right. Giveaway coming soon for all of the sneakers. Make sure you guys follow the uh, social media accounts for details. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for checking out that video. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. And like I just said, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on all the sneakers besides the metallics, all right? I gotta keep the metallics, but all the other sneakers we will be doing a giveaway for. So make sure you guys follow the social media accounts. Make sure you hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.